Hey y'all, and happy Monday. So, we're in March. That escalated quickly. <laughs> um, it's kind of wild, but here we are. Um, we are still, I, I, I love the trails and the paths. Now think about a, a winding river and that, um, where the Holy Spirit takes us and how he gets us there. And so <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think we started in January in Jeremiah 29, 11, and we're still digging in based on his leading from scriptures that tie into Jeremiah 29, 11, which should really help us, um, to understand or to see glimpses of that this is all, this word, his word, is all connected and that it, he is one God, the same God, the God of the Old Covenant or the Old Testament and the God of the New Covenant or the New Testament is the same God, same character, same integrity, same word. Uh, those things that he did and how he proved himself in the Old Testament, he is still the same God and will prove himself in this, the New Testament. You know, y'all, we're still living in the New Testament. Um, Testament is, is a word that means covenant. And so we're still in the new covenant, which is that Jesus Christ was our sacrifice and he is our access point to the father. Um, I have conversations with, with different people and, and I'm, y'all know I'm a word girl, not, not just a word, word girl, but words matter. Know what the words you use mean. And, and talking about some, I'm not going to get in it cause it's a soapbox thing, but, um, uh, words of songs and I, I I refuse to sing certain songs because I'm not going to um, declare or to speak or sing you know that the character of God or that God is something that he's not and so it's it's important that we are guarded and that we are intentional about who we teach ourselves that God is and God is faithful. God is good. God is a God of order and right and wrong and justice. And he can be nothing other than those things. And so we, we ended last week reading the account of the Syrophoenician woman who was not of Jewish birth. She was not a child of Israel. She was not one of God's people. But so many things about her account that I just absolutely love is that she knew just the crumbs of Jesus was enough. And by reading that account, we can find out that she was not a child of God but now we are children of God. We who believe and follow Jesus Christ, who trust him as our access point to the Father, have been given the right, the power, the authority to become children of God. And that's John 1, chapter 12. And so when we become children of God, when we exercise that privilege to believe on him and to become part of his family, then now what Jesus talked about that I can't take, it's not right for me to give you the children's bread. Now we are the children and it is right and it is good that he give us or that we have access to the children's bread. You now have a just claim. You have the power or privilege. You have a proper claim. There's reason for you to have hope and to expect the Lord to be good and gracious to you. And that is because 
You are his child. You are a child of God. If you have received Jesus and acknowledged that you need him to relate to and access the Father, then you are a child of God and you have a right to seek him, to inquire of him and to to place demands on things that he's promised. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll pick up here. Bye, y'all.